Hello guys and welcome to episode 1 in my new Godot series, every node in Godot. Today we're going to have a look at the sprite node and the animated sprite node. First of all, we're going to create the main scene, so click on 2D scene, rename this guy to main, go to scene, save scene, click on create folder, type in scenes and click on save. The first node we're going to have a look at is the sprite node. There are different ways to add the sprite. One of the ways is to drag the icon right in here to the area. And this will automatically become a sprite node here, as you can see. You can then move this guy around and, and change the offset here. You can set the transform for the position. You can set it to zero by zero. You can rotate it here. You can zoom this guy a bit in so you can see better. You can rotate this guy and scale him up and do all of these nice crazy things. But for now we're going to reset this guy to be zero. Another way to add a sprite is to right click the main node, click on add shy and load and search for sprite in here. So this is how we add sprites. And if you want to have a texture on this guy, you can either go here to texture and choose one of these textures and play around with them. An easy way to add a texture is to drag the PNG here and drop it in the texture box. And it's now set. You can also drag the PNG here and drop it on the sprite and choose this as a texture or a normal map. In this case, we're going to use a texture. And it's now set. So this is how you can apply a texture to a sprite. I have prepared a background for us. So we're going to right click here and click a new folder. And we can call this uh, assets here. We can right click the assets folder and click a new folder. I call this backgrounds. I'm going to right click and open this guy in the file manager. And I'm going to copy in a castle that I generated in stable diffusion here. So it's AI generated. Let's close this guy down. We can now delete the icon here. And I'm going to rename this guy to be the background. And I'm going to drag in the castle here. It's a texture. And I'm going to choose offset here and remove the centered because I wanted to start on 0, .0, 0 and not in the center of the image. All right, so this was the introduction to a sprite. A sprite is basically just an image. All right, now for the animated sprite, we are going to create a new scene. So click on scene, new scene, click on 2D scene, and let's rename this guy to be a bat. Next, we're going to go to Scene and save the scene. Inside the Scenes folder, click on Create Folder. And we can call this Enemies. And inside of the Enemies folder, you can click Create Folder and call this guy Bat. And then save the bat.tscm file in here. Click on Save. Next, right click the Bat node and click on Add Shell node. And find the animated sprite here. If you don't see it, just search for it. Click on it and click on create. An animated sprite needs to have frames. So click here on frames and click on new sprite frames. Then click here again. And this will open up the animations window for you here. Then let's rename the default to be flap one. And now go to scenes, enemies and expand the bat folder here. Right click the bat folder, click a new folder and call this GFX. I like to keep things organized, so I usually create a GFX folder for the specific enemy that I have here. I'm going to right click and open in File Manager. And I'm going to show you two different ways to import graphics. I'm going to paste the files in here. Here we have the individual frames for the bat. And here we have all the bat frames in one file. We can now close this guy. So for flap one here, I'm going to select the first image, hold down shift and click on the last image and just drag and drop them in here. And we have now added the five frames here, like so. Now let's create a second animation here and call this guy flap two. Then click on the icon here, add frames from a sprite sheet. Then go to enemies, bat, GFX and choose the bat all in one image here and click on open. 
Here we specify how many images we have horizontally and vertically. So horizontally, we have five, and vertically, we just have one. And you can individually select frames in here like so. But if you know you're going to use all of them, you can select and clear the frames with this button up here. So I'm going to select all and click add five frames. For the flap two animation, we're going to set this to be 15 FPS. And for flap one, we're going to use eight. So these guys are going to go with different speeds. All right. Now let's save the scene. Next, we're going to right click the back node, click on attach script. Make sure this is a C-sharp script and it's going to be placed here in the bat folder. So click on create. This will bring up Visual Studio for us. And first of all, we're going to add a few variables in here. We're going to have the bat, which is going to be an animated sprite. We're going to have a bat speed, which is how fast the bat is going to move on the screen. We will also use a random number generator here to randomize between the two different flaps. And we're going to have a vector two to hold the sprite size. So first of all, we're going to add a method here to grab the sprite size. And it looks like this. So to access the frames of the bat, we go bat.frames. And we're going to grab the first frame from the flap one animation here. And we're going to get the width of that frame. Now, since all of the frames are at equal size, we can use this. But if you have different sizes on your sprite frames, this won't work. And we do the same thing here. We get the height from the first frame in the flat one animation. And then we store the width and the height inside of the sprite size vector two. Next, we're gonna add a method here to randomize the bat. And it's gonna look like this. The first thing we're gonna do in here is to move the bat back and set a new random height position on the screen. We will move the sprite outside of the screen to the left. Then we're gonna randomize a number here between zero and the width of the screen minus the sprite size here. Then we're going to randomize between one and zero. And if the value is zero, we're going to play the flap one animation. And we're going to set the bat speed to be 400. If the value was one, we're going to play the second flap animation and set the bat speed to be 500. And down here, we are going to exchange this process method to this guy. And here we're going to move the bat forward on the X axis with the bat speed Multiply with the delta. Then if the bat has passed over the edge of the screen, let me check that by taking the X position of the bat and see if that is larger than the window size plus the sprite size. And if so, we're gonna randomize the bat start position and animation. And finally, inside of the render method, we are going to initialize the random number generator. We're gonna randomize a new start seed we're going to get the bat animation sprite node and we're going to get the size of the sprite and we're going to randomize the bat start position and animation. All right, so let's save this file and minimize. Now save the bat file, press Control S or go scene, save scene. Let's go to the main node, right click the main node, click instance shell scene, click on the bat scene and click on open. Press Control S to save the main scene and let's click on play and click select current here and now we have a bat flying over the screen here so in this tutorial you have learned how to set up a sprite as a background and you have learned how to import animated sprite graphics the project is available on my github page and you will find the link in the description all right thank you guys for watching please like subscribe Hit the notification bell and see you in the next video. Bye for now.